So I wanted to put this trip together because um, I had this connect at the Smithsonian and I knew that she was eager to work with students and to bring in students from various universities into that space. So this summer I was thinking about how I wanted to approach teaching the history of hip hop fashion um, and, and ways to connect students with the culture that would be beyond the classroom, beyond what I could pro provide with them with links and videos and that kind of thing. And so I thought, well, the Smithsonian has great holdings in hip hop fashion and Timothy Ann, the curator, has actually curated some of them. So this is a perfect opportunity for the students to engage the institution itself. Um, it's really important to put students in these types of situations, especially in which students can engage in experiential learning because they are able to see history beyond its immaterial narrative, right? We're often fed these um, axioms and ideas of what history is, but we don't get to touch it and feel it for ourselves. So putting students in contact with the material history of the culture and letting them to get up, letting them get up close to it uh, enables a different kind of learning experience. These kinds of initiatives are so important because they put students in positions um, where they can engage the archive in a different way altogether and they can engage themselves in a different way altogether. So not only does it challenge and create possibilities for different ways of learning, but it also helps students to feel valued, like they deserve to be in spaces like the Smithsonian and like the Kennedy Center, which then helps us uh, to change, you know, for their perspectives to change as they move forward from there of what's possible. Hello, my name is Erin Glover, and I'm just, oh wait, was I supposed to have a whole government? <laughs> it's fine. Just Okay, hello, I'm Erin, and I'm most excited about going to the museum. Yay! So, Essence, aka Miss Chase CSU, what are you excited about on this trip? Um, I'm mostly excited about just seeing the history and our culture. Um, it's, I've never been to uh, the National African American Museum, so I'm really excited to see what it has to offer and just learn a little bit more about who I am. So, I know, that's right. And what's your favorite Starbucks drink since we are at Starbucks right now? Caramel Macchiato. Okay. Two extra shots of vanilla, two extra shots of caramel. Get into it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alexis Felton. Um, I am looking forward to all the opportunities I can seek out in DC. So we just got here to Washington DC. Um, we're very excited today. We're just kind of getting off, getting to the hotel, everything like that. And then um, we're spending the next two days at the NMAAHC, which is the Black History Smithsonian Museum. Um, students are going to have a chance to explore the city a little bit, to see some of the monuments. And the weekend's going to close with a, a trip to the Kennedy Center to see a beat battle with uh, North Carolina producers. So it's an absolutely incredible experience and opportunity. And overall, students are going to get a chance to um, engage both the history of hip hop and hip hop fashion in the museum space and also in its live performance space. It's going to be a really special trip, and I'm, I'm excited for it. Who's this, y'all? Who's this? Hey, 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 hey. I was about to say that's MC like. I like that. 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 I
is Tara Minor to be here at the African American Museum of History and Culture. It's literally amazing. All of the artifacts that we're seeing has been changed, like sequentially, continuously. So even though I've been here, I have not been here. All of this information is new information, and it's all related to people who are part of my culture and the diaspora too, which makes all of this information just that much more important to me. And I love walking around here. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop being a little excited and emotional at the same time. It's so beautiful. Ramadan, and I'm here um, with Johnson C. Smith, my class, um, touring the African American Museum. So far, I've only been able to tour the full fourth floor, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, I can't think of anything that I would want to really add to it. It starts off with um, the early stages and our contributions in the early stages of America. It takes us through the food that we contributed, um, entertainment, um, from television, radio. It has artifacts of musicians. Um, a lot of them, you know, were in during my time, but there were many of them before me. And um, I took several pictures of original contracts that musicians had with uh, major companies. So I'm really enjoying it. I feel really invigorated. Um, I've been able to connect some things to, uh, to other links. For instance, I was looking at an, ex an exposition, exhibition of uh, a dance by Pearl Primus. Well, I've studied these dancers in another class that I've taken, the history of dance. So she performed this dance, an interpretation of Strange Fruit. Um, so I knew that when she did this in 1943, Billie Holiday had already uh, published this song in 1939 and that the publicity and the danger it put her life in because of its content. So, um, like I said, it's been very, very informative and it's allowed me to expand further and make some connections of what I've already learned about history. I'm a history buff. I love it. So I am really um, at the height of my excitement. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
for me, especially seeing the Emmett Till um, portion of the scene. I believe that this trip is important because it's cultural, not just for the black community, but for all communities as well, to see um, not only what black people have faced in the United States, but also um, the accomplishments that we've done in the United States. My name is Shamari Jenkins, and I am a senior at Johnson C. Smith, and my um, my major is communications. And on this trip, it was honestly really fun. I actually needed a break, so this trip was definitely that for me. Um, I enjoyed myself at the Smithsonian. I feel like, honestly, at the Smithsonian, I feel like every black person should go to that museum at least once in their life. It was really nice to see, like, all the black people and their accomplishments and stuff like that. Um, I was also one that got emotional in the Emmett Till exhibit. Um, um, I think trips like this are important because um, it's very educational and plus you get to have a good time and also like explore um, a different city even if you've never been here before. Thank you. 